everybody. So it is Sunday morning. We have just got back from where, Caleb? Uh, rugby. Rugby, yes. So a bit of a change of plans for us this week. Now, we had a football match yesterday morning and it bucketed down. Our kickoff was at 11.15 and we got absolutely drenched. So by the time I got home, dried off, warmed up, had a hot chocolate, did not feel like going back out to the grocery store. So last night we just had a dinner from our... Um, freezer so I just rummaged through the freezer and found some things that needed using and we had that for dinner so a freezer dinner so today I did a click and collect so that we could go and pick it up straight from rugby um didn't seem to get a lot it was 98 pounds there's quite a bit of fruit and there's quite a bit of meat but not very much snacks and extra bits and pieces this week so again wasn't very impressed pricing wise now obviously if I'd have gone into store I would have had the option to use my other 10% for the month um, so that would have been another nearly 10 pounds off so that would have been better but I just didn't have the energy today to go shopping um, after yesterday's um, hassly day and then rugby this morning we did have an earlier start for our rugby this morning nine o'clock instead of our normal 10 30 because we switched pitches with one of the other teams so that they could play on the better pitch um but it is now what time is it nearly 11 uh 11 oh no. 10 past 10. 11 so we've just got in i now need to get this stuff put away tony's out for a bike ride which he does most sunday mornings um and then try to have some time of the weekend to just relax and enjoy the rest of the weekend the weather is much better today it was kind of 16 17 degrees when we were driving home from rugby um and the sun is out although it is quite cloudy um, so I'm hoping that the weather holds up today. So yes, this was a click and collect from Tesco, £98. I'll turn you around, I'll show you what I got and then at the end, as always, I'll show you our meal plan for the week ahead. Okay, so there is our sweep of everything. It does go around the corner, but you will notice over here we've had a proper tidy up and a sort out. It's actually on the camera, it doesn't look much better, but it is much better than it was. We've reduced our pen mugs down to one mug. Um, another little box with our kind of painkillers and um, just odds and ends, hand, um, hand cream and stuff in. And then another one with torches and uh, tissues and things. And then our little supplies of tissues and sanitizer and our wipes over there. And the this did get a sort out, although it seems to have been filled back up with things again. Um, so quite proud of our sorting out of our kitchen last weekend. So what did we get? We got some um, brioche bars with the chocolate filling through. Caleb hasn't had those for a while, so that's for a breakfast for him this week. Some King's Mill 5050 and some King's Mill 5050 rolls as well. These are the ones with the vitamin boost in them. Um, half a dozen eggs. I do still have some left from last week, which have a date, an expiry date towards the end of this week. So I've got plenty now. Some frosted shreddies, which were Caleb's request for breakfast cereal for this week. Um, some plain tortilla wraps, two packages of taco seasoning, just a little four pack of water splash this week. Um, Caleb's still got a couple of bottles from last week left and he's still got some cans of fizzy drink left and we've got squash as well. So we've got plenty of drinks in. Um, some baked crisps just for something a bit different. That was the variety pack. They were on a club card special. I think they were a pound. Some of the brunch bar choc chips for Caleb to take to school for his snack. Some crunchy taco shells. Some little pots of, four pots of Devon custard. Some of the lemon layered slices. They didn't have the angel slices this week, so I got lemon instead. Um, some rice crispy squares. Um, An orange jelly. I just fancied some jelly, so I'm going to make one of those up during the week. Some panko breadcrumbs. Chicken seasoning and some dried rosemary. A mugshot. And two of these, I've seen quite a lot of people have these on channels that I follow for kind of what I eat in a day sort of channels. Um, and they do look quite tasty. So they're the Naked brand. Um, I've got a Japanese style katsu curry rice and a Singapore style curry egg noodles. So I'm going to just try those for a couple of different things for lunches this week. I've got a sticky pudding, Jamaica ginger cake. Um, I'm going to have some of this with some of that for a little treat for dessert one night this week. Um... Some orange Smarty Buttons, three of the um, Galaxy Ripple Bars, so I really like these. 
um, for a chocolatey treat and they were three for £1.20 I think so and they're full size bars so um, I've just got three I will definitely have one of them as a treat at some point this week Caleb might have one um, we might share one um, four packets of the Mexican inspired rice so this is a slightly spicy these are just a real shortcut these packages of pouches of rice um, I do make rice from scratch when I'm just having kind of boiled rice with something um, but these flavoured seasoned rices just make a, a little handy way to add a little bit of extra to a meal that's all the pantry stuff so onto the fridge I've got two boxes of smoothies I did order two different flavours but they substituted one of the flavours I ordered was obviously out of stock so they've given me two of the other one that I ordered um, some semi-skimmed milk, a pot of soured cream, two of the strawberry shortcake um, yoghurt pots for Caleb, um, some low-fat halloumi, I just fancied some halloumi, I'm going to have it a couple of times this week with meals, not sure if the boys will like it but I love it. Um, two regular yoghurts, a banana and custard flavour and a rhubarb crumble and custard flavour and I've also got a, a kvarg which is the flavoured quark. Um, so this is stracciatella with chocolate pieces. So it's called it's kind of like a white chocolatey sort of flavour, but it has little flakes of chocolate in it. Some um, wafer thin honey roast ham, two bags of grated mature cheddar, some cheese slices, some um, low fat uh, cream cheese, two packages of these pepperami pepped up chicken bites. I thought they might be something different for a lunchbox for Caleb. Um, a little pack of these... Um, Cathedral City um, mini mature cheddar blocks and I've got some smoked salmon in the back there. A big bag of um, McCain home chips. The big bag was on special pricing. I can't remember. I think it was £2 or £2.50 for the big bag and it's normally three something. Um, meat wise I've got two packages of turkey mints. I've got a large pack of the pork loin steaks. I've got some of these that looked quite nice. A fire pit. Um, Cajun chicken steaks so they're already seasoned up I do often do meat with a Cajun seasoning on but these have kind of a wet marinade seasoning on rather than just the dry so I've got those and then I've got three packs of chicken breast fillets or three meals that I want chicken for this week just plain chicken for this week um, a bag of regular potatoes two of the Caesar salad kits I've really been liking these and yes you do pay a bit more um, as I've said before than buying the romaine lettuce and the parmesan and the croutons and the dressing all separately but if i can just tip that out into a bowl there's no chopping nothing required and just shake it up that's quick and easy to have a salad at lunchtime um to take some for lunch or to have one with our evening meal but i do also have some little gem lettuce for if i want some to put in a sandwich or something like that what a big box of a big punnet of closed cut mushrooms some sweet gem lettuce, which is Licky's favourite, tender stem broccoli just for a change, some asparagus tips, um, herbs, I've got dill, basil and parsley for Licky and then I've got some rosemary for something that I'm making. Um, three mixed peppers, a cucumber, some cherry tomatoes which were in there, kind of fruit and veg special deals this week. I can't remember how much they were but they were quite reduced and they look quite nice actually the only thing I don't like with click and collect and also with home delivery on groceries is sometimes the fruit and veg is not the certainly not the ones I would pick out so fruit and veg I do I don't rummage anymore because of covid but I do look for a decent looking pack and and I have to say whoever's done my picking today has done a good job because everything looks quite nice so um, a large honeydew melon, again, that's something that Caleb and I both like and Licky likes as well. Some garlic apples, a lemon, some blueberries, bananas, a pot of mixed grapes, some raspberries and two packs of the strawberries. So they had a special on the fruit. It was two packages of certain fruits were three pounds. Um, so I got the two packs of strawberries because we do eat a lot of strawberries Um but you have to obviously eat them quickly. Any that we don't eat, if they start to turn, Tony will freeze and use them in his smoothies in the mornings. So that's all I picked up. But again, not, not that much for £98, although there is a lot of meat in there um, and quite a bit of fruit, which is obviously quite expensive. Um, the fruit is more expensive than vegetables, for example. Um, but not a lot of kind of snacky stuff and bits and pieces over there. So 
I was quite surprised that it rang up as high as it did. I did have quite a few club card um, pricing savings in it, but oh well, another week, another moan. <laughs> so tonight, Sunday, we're going to have um, tacos with Mexican rice and salad. So we haven't had tacos um, for a while. We're going to use the crunchy shells for tacos. I'll also, I've also got the tortillas if Tony wants to do his in the soft shells. Um, and we'll have those with Mexican rice and then I'll do some chopped tomato, cucumber, some lettuce and cheese and, and we've got sour cream to have with that. Monday night I'm going to make honey mustard chicken with rice and tender stem broccoli. Tuesday I'm going to make the Cajun chicken and I'll have that with the other Mexican rice and I'll probably grill up some halloumi to have with that and some salad. Wednesday we'll have the garlic, rosemary and lemon pork. So the pork slices, I will just marinate those for about half an hour in some lemon, garlic and a bit of the fresh rosemary. And then I'll just either grill or pan fry those and we'll have those with diced seasoned potatoes and some asparagus. Then on Thursday we'll have crispy chicken burgers with chips and salad. So I'll take a pack of those chicken breasts, cut them in half um, to make kind of burger sized pieces of chicken and I'm going to coat them in a panko breadcrumb kind of mixture and bake them in the oven and we'll have those in burger buns in the whole meal in the 50 50 burger buns um, with some salad and some chili jam or something like that as well and we'll have that with chips and then on Friday I'm just going to do seasoned chicken I'm going to use the other piece of the halloumi we'll have it with chips corn cobs and salad um, I got that chicken seasoning um, chicken rub sort of seasoning that I might use on it or I might just use some garlic and herbs I'll decide on the day what I feel like but it'll be some kind of seasoned up chicken with halloumi um, chips corn cobs and salad and then on Saturday night we'll have a pizza we probably will have that as a takeaway pizza so that is our plan for the week ahead thank you for joining us for this grocery haul and we look forward to seeing you back here on the seesaw soon <laughs>